Learning outcome one, VCSO5, know the basic anatomy and physiology terms. For outcome one, it's important that you're able to identify the common veterinary terminology associated with basic anatomy of the cat and dog. It's vitally important as a member of the veterinary team that you have an understanding of these terms and that in turn will help you to assist to support the veterinary team appropriately in matters such as positioning, restraint and that will apply to many different procedures. This video session will cover all of the relevant terms that you need to be aware of in a variety of ways that you can utilise to assist you with your studies and your daily role within practice. There is also an adjoining handout alongside this. Anatomy and physiology. These are terms used to define the study of structures within the body, how they work and how they interact with one another. Other specific terms that you will come across in veterinary practice are cytology, histology, pathology, histopathology, just to name a few. And please note that the term ology means a branch of science. Anatomical directions. Although anatomical directions might seem confusing at first, remember they are vitally important as they allow us to concisely explain where a structure is located in relation to another structure or landmark. This allows us to pinpoint the exact location. The following videos will be made available to watch via your VCSO5 unit on one file. They will cover anatomical terms and planes of the body. Please make sure you watch them as they really nicely explain such terms to assist you. The review of terms from the videos. The arrow here is showing the ventral aspect of the body. The arrow here is showing the dorsal aspect. Remember the dorsal fin in the dolphin and this will help you to remember this. Here we can see the arrows depicting cranial and caudal aspects of the body. And here we can see the rostral aspect and the caudal aspect. You can help to remember rostral by remembering the term nostril. The following image shows you the cranial, caudal, dorsal and palmar aspects. The previous slide covered the forelimb. The following slide covers the hind limb. So as we can see here, we have our cranial, caudal and dorsal aspects. However, we term the hind foot surface as being the plantar surface, not the palmer, and that is because it touches where plants may grow. The image provided here shows us the lateral and medial aspects, and also the proximal and distal aspects. Within the videos that were provided that covered the anatomical planes of the body and images such as this one will help you to further be able to identify such planes. Here we can see the medium plane, the dorsal plane, the transverse plane and also the median and the mid-sagittal plane. 
Please note that the medium mid sagittal plane is the line that divides the body into the left and right halves. The sagittal or paramedian plane is any line parallel to the medial plane. And the dorsal plane is parallel to the back of the animal and the perpendicular to the long axis of the animal. Using the provided handout within your unit, complete the related terminology to build yourself a glossary of terms.